When I was asked to say something at this event, I hesitated, not because I did not want to speak, but because I'm nervous that I won't be able to put into words the impact Dr. Ware has had on my life and the lives of so many other students here at UNC. Dr. Ware is a teacher. The word teacher is used frequently to describe a person's career, but for Dr. Ware, it's his life. A lot of teachers talk about teachable moments, but for Dr. Ware, every moment is a teaching moment. He has taught me almost everything I know about statistics, but he's also taught me a lot about being a professor at a Research One university, and about how to be a reflective person in the classroom, as a wife, and as a mother. He uses relevant examples when teaching. I will never forget learning about Measure's Essential Tendency in Stat 1, which has now been several years ago, so I'm a little rusty on the specifics. But we had already learned the statistical concepts of mean, median, and mode. And now we were learning about the relevancy of these various measures. Dr. Ware stated that the current mean salary, salary for geology majors who attended UNC around 1982 was something outrageous, like $1 million. <laughs> but when the, mean, but the median was only $50,000. After he let us ponder this fact for a moment, he then added that Michael Jordan was a geology major in 1982. <laughs> and we said, aha! This was one of many aha moments I had in the classes that I took with Dr. Ware. I love how he shares his weekend wilderness adventures with us at the beginning of classes, like the time he went snowshoeing through the North Carolina mountains, and how his screensaver of family photos pops up when our class discussions take a little bit longer than they be intended. <laughs> And when we all might be getting a little overwhelmed with the nitty-gritty of statistical analyses, he would always chime in with one of his wearisms, like, <laughs> close enough for government work, <laughs> or you can always bootstrap it. <laughs> I alluded to the fact that Dr. Ware is not only a teacher inside the classroom, but outside as well. His well-known stat chats were not only times to come ask for further clarification about how to run an ANOVA using R, they often turned into deep discussions about our other common interests, upheavals at UNC, favorite hiking spots in North Carolina, where to buy high quality beef in the area, and a, for a good local painter, just to name a few. Dr. Ware has been a big part of my life here at UNC. Yes, he's helped guide me on my master's thesis and doctoral program of studies and challenged me throughout the milestones of being a graduate student from my thesis proposal to oral defense of my comprehensive exams. But he has also been there for my family and I at my baby shower, after the passing of one of my parents, and to hold my son Christopher while he listened to me go on and on about the trials and tribulations of being a new mom. <laughs> To end, I asked a few students for a word or phrase that describes Dr. Ware and wanted to share them all with you. Dr. Ware challenges you, but provides the support you need to meet that challenge. Dr. Ware is always willing to go the extra mile to work with his students to make sure they understand the material. His students respect him because he respects us. He finds pleasure in our learning and learning from us. Caring. He really wants to see his students succeed, and he cares about the work they are doing. Character. He epitomizes character, and not as in a cartoon, but the qualities that parents and teachers try to instill in children early in life. And one student simply said, life coach. Dr. Ware, thank you.